Learn with Eddie. Hello, Eddie. Oh, you don't like it? But it's beautiful. Do you know what it is? It's a frog. And it belongs to the family of amphibians, which means it can live both in the water and on the surface. <laughs> also, if you kiss it, he'll become a prince. <laughs> well, at least that's what the frog prince tale says. <laughs> All right, say no more. Do you want me to tell you the story while I dress you up as the protagonists? <laughs> All right, but when we finish, you need to take our friend to a place with soil and water, so it's comfy. <laughs> Deal. Let's play some storytelling. This tale was written by the Grimm brothers. Oh. And it tells the story of a princess that lived in a castle with her parents, the king and the queen. One day, the princess went out to play in the garden with her golden ball. <laughs> but it fell inside a well. Uh -huh. And suddenly, a frog came out of the water and said to her, uh -huh. Don't cry, princess. If you promise to be my friend, let me sit at your table, uh -huh. feed me in your golden plate, and let me sleep in your bed, I'll give you your golden ball back. <laughs> the princess promised she'd do all that and the frog brought her toy back straight away. <laughs> but the princess took the ball away from the frog, forgetting about her promise. <laughs> that same night, she was throwing a party. <laughs> but when the banquet seemed to be at its peak, they started hearing some noises, and the voice of the frog screamed, uh -huh. Princess, you gave me your word, and now you have to be a friend and be with me. <laughs> the princess didn't want to be with the frog because she thought it was disgusting. Uh -huh. So she asked her dad for help, the king of the castle. Oh. <laughs> now you're dressed as the princess's dad. <laughs> <laughs> the king said to her, The royal word must always be kept. If you made a promise, you must respect it. Uh -huh. The frog deserves to be your friend. <laughs> and so the princess had no choice but to sit the frog on her knees and eat with it in front of everyone. <laughs> hey, Eddie, <laughs> I think for the rest of the tale, we should dress you up as a frog. <laughs> Great! <laughs> Once the frog was full, it said to the princess, I'm tired. Now take me to your bed so I can sleep. Hmm. But when the frog asked her for a good night kiss, the princess refused. She thought it was disgusting. The frog cried and cried. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Eddie. The tale has a good ending. <laughs> How about we listen to the ending while we help our friend the frog go back to its home? <laughs> All right, Eddie, let's get the frog in the water. I'm sure it'll appreciate going for a swim. Hmm, that's weird. It looks like it doesn't want to go. Let's listen to the end of the story and see if we can get any clues. The frog was crying because the princess found it disgusting. She didn't want to kiss it goodnight. In the end, since the frog was so, so, so sad, the princess ended up kissing it. <laughs> and the frog turned into a prince. <laughs> proving that you should never judge anyone based on their physical appearance. <laughs> hmm, I have an idea. Uh -huh. If I take your frog costume off and put the princess one on and you try kissing the frog, uh -huh. maybe it turns into a prince as well. Who knows? <laughs> That's surprising. <laughs> Just like the tail. <laughs> you have a new friend now. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little girl greatly loved by her grandmother. <laughs> she was called Red Riding Hood because she wore a cloak of that color. Uh -huh. You don't know what it is? Well, it's like a cape, but a bit different. Mm -hmm. Wait, I have an idea. Oh. How about we dress you up like her? It'll be clearer to see. <laughs> and we can continue telling the story. What do you think? <laughs> Wait for me, Eddie. And what about you guys? Do you know any other popular stories? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Let's get the rock rolling. Let's <laughs> see. We'll have to start with the dress. Hmm. I wonder which of these it is. But Eddie, Red was a girl that lived in the countryside, not a princess. Oh. 
Exactly! This dress goes much better with the character. <laughs> As I was saying, Red had to take food for her grandmother. She had to cross the whole forest. What would she wear on her feet? Are you sure? Hmm. These boots look like they're for the snow. <laughs> the shoes, yeah, <laughs> much better. <laughs> While crossing the forest, she ran into a wolf. But instead of listening to her mother and not talking to strangers, she told him that she was going to her grandmother's house. By the way, do you know where she was carrying the food? In a bag or in a basket? Uh -huh. I'll give you a clue. This is a very old story. The basket, of course. Back then, they didn't have such modern bags. With it, she kept on walking towards her granny's house. But the wolf got there before her. Uh -huh. He tricked the grandma and ate her. Uh -huh. Sorry, I mean, he locked her in a closet. Mm -hmm. And then the little girl arrived, dressed with her cloak. That's... Mm. Oh, of course, I still haven't explained what a cloak is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cape, but it's also got a hood for the head. <laughs> well done, Eddie. <laughs> it has a long cape and a hood to cover the head. You're all done and ready for the last part. <laughs> you want both of us to do it? <laughs> so you see, the wolf dressed up as the granny and pretended to be her. Oh. And when Red saw him... <laughs> She offered him a delicious glazed donut. The wolf ate it because it was heavenly. <laughs> and they became great friends. Uh -huh. The granny? Oh yeah, she came out of the closet and joined them for lunch. <laughs> well, the story doesn't really end like this, but I prefer this sweet ending. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? <laughs> Okay then, let's begin. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess lived in a faraway castle. <laughs> so funny! You look great in Eddie's costume. <laughs> I'm going off script, sorry. She was a beautiful princess who lived happily in her castle. Until a fearsome dragon showed up one day. I said, a fearsome dragon showed up. Uh -huh. You have to pay more attention, Eddie. <laughs> but where's your dragon costume? <laughs> <laughs> we need a dragon that's slightly bigger and less adorable. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a break from the story so we can dress up Eddie? <laughs> In the meantime, you can start thinking of an ending for our story. And you too, guys! <laughs> what will happen in this story of the princess and the dragon? Tell us in the comments! <laughs> Come on, Eddie! Let's have a look in your wardrobe! I think we have a dragon costume somewhere! <laughs> it's got to be one of these! But which one? <laughs> this one? Okay, let's see... <laughs> I don't know, Eddie. Dragons don't really have brown fur. And their tail doesn't end in a fluffy brush. I think this might be a lion costume. That might be the one, yeah. That's it, Eddie. You guessed it. This one has green and yellow skin and the crest in the back. <laughs> but wait, it's missing the horns. You can't be a dragon without horns. But don't worry, we'll make them for you. Think, Eddie. What yellow item of clothing can we use for the dragon's head? That's it, your rain hat. Hmm, but it's too big though. We'll just trim it so that it only covers your head. <laughs> Perfect! Can you think of anything we can use as horns? Mm -hmm. Ice cream cones? 
You're a genius, Eddie. We add a bit of glue and glue both horns to it. Though they don't really look like horns at all in that color, they might look better if we painted them red, like your paws. There! <laughs> it's turned out perfect, Eddie! <laughs> now we just have to paint your face, because it doesn't match the rest of your costume. <laughs> Let's see, what colors should we use? This green will be perfect! It's the same shade as the rest of your costume. And now we use a darker shade of green to make your mighty nose stand out. That's where Dragonfire comes out of. Uh -huh. Now you're a fearsome dragon! <laughs> Should we finish the story, Eddie? Ha ha ha, wow! I wasn't expecting this ending! Uh -huh. Yay. The princess beats the dragon in a basketball match. You're so imaginative! <laughs> I thought the knight in shiny armor would show up to fight the dragon! What is it, Eddie? Do you want to change roles and be the knight? <laughs> Alright then! Let's dress you up again! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it! <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. Ah, and you can also talk with Eddie. Send him an email at learnwitheddie at asubio.tv. <laughs> he will love it. <laughs>